Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is our review for Black Ink Chicago, Season 4, Episode 9. I'm happy because, I don't know, it's 2.40 in the morning. And, you know what I'm saying, I guess I got a little bit of energy. Anyway, if you have not done so already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And also make sure to hit the notification bell so that it, not so that it notifies you when I have new videos up. And also, do not forget to like the video. Go ahead, right now, hit like. Unless you're driving right now. If you're driving right now, you can't do it. If you're watching me on your television, you can't do it. But anybody else, hit the like button. Thank you. Um, also, for you, those of you who are watching me and not listening to me, um, excuse me, I have a new intro photos and everything. So, let me know how y'all like it. Because uh, um, the way I see it is not, not be how it looks on YouTube. So, when like when this, because I post stuff and I go to sleep. <laughs> because it'd be late um so i won't really see it yet um how it looks on youtube so i'm hoping you guys like it but put in the comment section this i just don't want it to look grainy you know what i'm saying because i did it in like 10 40 whatever it is it 10 40 or 10 50 10 whatever and so it looked great on my end but i'm hoping that it also you know trans you know looks great to you guys too but if you're like the first couple of people to watch it, like the first five minutes you know all youtube videos first like five minutes looks weird because it's still updating so yeah anyway enough of that so the episode starts off you know four is in la he left uh these hoes ain't loyal ink and he went to la he did say goodbye to everyone even though the last episode made it seem as if he asked his ass was going away to prison and he wasn't going to ever return he was going to not say bye to nobody he did go back and say bye and got well which from everybody from him leaving i'm um, going to la and it's because i'm like i don't think he moving to la though i think he's going there just to make some music but i think he coming back but you know you know might just be me anyway but he is not alone in L.A. No, he is not. Ryan is with him in L.A. And the funny part is, again, I remember them being live on their IGs in L.A. together. So I'm like, okay, they are really still shooting the show. Um, so, you know, Ryan brought up how, you know, Four came to me a couple weeks ago about some advice on if he should go to L.A. And I told him to go ahead and go. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and, and, and be great. Go. Because L.A. is a place to be. When you're trying to make it a music, you can go to LA, you can go to New York, you can go to Atlanta. You know, Chicago isn't a typical place where someone goes to make it in the music industry. Not saying that you can't make it in Chicago, but eventually you have to leave to, you know what I'm saying, get better connections or whatever. And that's just what it is. The saying with that eventually I'm going to probably have to leave Michigan to, you know what I'm saying, spread my wings and stuff and fly uh, with my YouTube stuff and, of course, you know, all that things, honey, I'm hoping with the love fire you're playing. So, yeah, it was cool that he, you know, trusts Ryan's advice because I'm saying he ain't called a van as van. Anyway, I'm petty. So, Ryan was able to go because his shop is still being under construction and would not be open and ready for it in the month. So, he had the time to go to L.A. And he said, you know what I'm saying, while Four is doing his whole, you know, music thing in the, in the studio with, we got London on the track. He would be up there, you know what I'm saying, um, doing pop-up shops, doing tattoos for at least a week, though. And the Four was petty. Okay, petty, petty, petty. Petty Four. Because um, that's what a P. He was like, you gonna, you gonna hit up Cat? He was like, who? You know, cause Cat here. I'm like, four. <sighs> I get he was joking, but even I was like, man, that's petty. You know what I'm saying? It's, no, not gonna happen. And he like, man, I ain't, he like, look, I ain't dumb. I ain't going nowhere near that girl. You know, I, no. It was basically no. No, thank you. Ain't no beef, but you know what I'm saying? No. So, cool. Um, we do say that he goes to London, London on, I hate, 
to London's house, okay, London the Trek house, um, and meet with him and his team, and they want to work with him. London's going to let four you some of his team members to do whatever to get there to make some songs. I don't know if it's an album, a song, or whatever, but he's there to kind of work on it all together, and they really believe in him. They said how good he did at Summer Jams. Was it Summer Jams? Big Jams? The big concert he did in Chicago. Um, and Ryan, like, I'm so proud of you, bruh. And then London's just like, look, I got a show in Jamaica that I want you to come out with and perform with me. You understand? I want you to come out. He's like, for real? Like, perform? He's like, yeah. So now, this is how we saw the episodes later on where they're all in Jamaica. And people were saying on the, in the comment section, how did, you know what I'm These hoes ain't loyal, Inc. Make a trip to, to, to Jamaica. And then how did Ryan end up there, too? Well, we now see. Four had a show in Jamaica. Ryan knew first and said, I'm going to book my ticket. I'm going to be there. Four said, you absolutely going, bro. And so they were already going. And we see in the previews for the next episode or two that when these hoes ain't loyal, Inc. found out about the show, they also came. So it wasn't the fake thing. Like, okay, how they all just end up to happen in Jamaica because they all wouldn't go support Four. And you know what's what it was. Anyway, back in Chicago, they ain't doing shit. Nothing at all, you know what I'm saying, as usual. Sitting around, chit chatting, jaw jacking, you know what I'm saying, not doing the goddamn tattoos. And then, you know what I'm saying, here come Cobra. Cobra this season is different. I don't know if she feel like I don't have a real place on the show because I don't be involved in no mess. Let me come back and try to get myself on the show and get some real show money. Because you're like, why am I doing this so much? Um, you only get paid for the shows you do. So if, you aren't on, if you're only on two episodes a season, you may have made maybe $5,000. But that's it. You don't, I think you only get paid per episode. And that's if you're getting paid 2500 a show. Sometimes you get paid like $1,000 per, per episode. So, you know, who knows how much they're making. So I feel like Cobra came back to like, you know what I'm saying, let me come back and try to just, you know what I'm saying, do some scenes and get some shows and, you know what I'm saying, let them see me. And she come in like, oh yeah, it was a story in the Chicago Tribune, their local uh, you know, paper or whatever saying how Ryan was being investigated for having a gun at the shop and how it's footage of him with his gun, all because of that bullet hole in the wall that I'm still not sure wasn't there before and wasn't covered up by goddamn paint. I'm not sure. What I do know is Charmaine's talking about he went nine mag, been dead for a couple months. It ain't dead, bitch. Y'all just got fired from him. And but Ryan goes still around, you know what I'm saying? We know when he shot the when he when he shot came here shooting up shooting the building up or whatever, it it only did not affect us. It also affected the building people. So they were also notified. So we didn't snitch, we didn't say something, we didn't say nothing. This is my thing about that. When the first part, because this is episode what, nine? This is episode nine. We had a little bit, like a couple week break in between. And um, I remember when these, these, when these scene, when this time, when it was being shot, the other episodes that already aired of them saying, Ryan shot, shot, Ryan did that, Ryan did this, whatever. Y'all going on national TV saying it's a bullet hole in the thing, Ryan was up in here shooting. Dad was snitching. You might not have went to the cops and said, knock, 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 open the police, the, the precinct door. Let me tell you something. But you definitely was on TV saying, it's bullet holes in here. Ryan was in here shooting, but you didn't see shit. So that's a form of snitching. Anyway, so, you know, Van then saying, well, you know, it's cameras all around here. But where's the goddamn footage? I really believe if there was footage of that boy shooting that thing up, it would have leaked by now, okay? Because that was a long time ago. The only footage, the footage that we did see was what Ryan put up of himself around the time the, the, news, the news was going on in real time. And he was putting up the video of him in the shop with his friends, taking his stuff out, paint over the NAMAC stuff. They showed that. What video? Where's the, where's the video from, from the building? And I'm like, he gonna say it's cameras all it's cameras all around here. Really, then? If you knew that, then Ryan knew that. So you, Ryan, in my opinion, is smarter than you. Okay, because you are not smarter than the average bear. So Ryan would know it's cam it's cameras around here. I can't be up here shooting and holding a gun because they're gonna see me. I can't. You know what I'm saying? Peekaboo, I see you. Boy, bye. Anyway. 
Shemaine then say, when she said, ain't nobody snitch, she then say, oh, and they quoted me talking? They quoted me? I didn't give them an interview talking about Ryan, but what she said was something like, you know what I'm saying, how Chicago has a lot of crime or whatever, but it's crazy for him to do that considering how much Chicago supports him. She gonna say, well, yeah, I talked to the paper because they told me they was doing an article on the, on the, um, on the tattoo shop. Charmaine, you might not be the brightest light bulb in the goddamn lamp, but you have a, a, enough common sense to know. Because you're on radio. When someone is asking you something, they will take your words and put it to whatever they, they see fit. Ain't nobody trying to interview you for no other reason besides Nine Mag and the MTV show. Okay? No one at the newspaper. Your radio shit, your radio stuff. But this is when they asking you about the shop, girl, what do you think they're going to do? Especially if you've been saying, hey, something, something was being shot up, girl, bye. Anyway, not that I'm not saying that she's a snitch. What I'm saying is she was the one who talked to the people at the newspaper. Hmm. Anyway, I'm just like, girl, bye. Uh, what she said, she, they told me it was a story on the shop, not on Ryan, but you still said something. So I do feel like you, you could have talked about the shop without saying Ryan's name. And we know at that point in time, she was on her whole, fuck Ryan, fuck Ryan, fuck. So I'm pretty sure she was talking about him just that's what, cause, that's because that's what she was doing. Here come Lily and Van. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because only cons- you know, you have to, people have to, people have to suffer consequences. You know what I'm saying? You reap what you sow, and anyone who is shooting up in a building only get jail time. I say, hold up, let wait a goddamn minute. Then you were caught on TV on camera on the show going to your car. It was either getting a baseball bat or a crowbar and busting out the windows of the shop and breaking in because the door was locked because you had no goddamn key. You could want to, and you was on probation. Literally, your ass, your goddamn antennas had fought everyone in that thing. You didn't fought Cobra. You fought Danielle. You fought Charmaine. I'm just waiting for you guys to go ahead and fight um Reese. And we see when you get to Jamaica, you'll be fighting in too. So please miss me with the bullshit of, oh, you got to, you, you going to suffer consequences. Y'all all is guilty of some bullshit. Everyone in that shop has done some dumb shit in that shop. Fighting, fucking, or whatever it be, it's all some dumb shit. Don ass, but I said, fucking up shit. We didn't see y'all knock cameras up. All kind of fuck shit. I hate when anyone makes it as if someone else's uh, situation is, I can't believe they did that. Van, you pissed in the bitch every goddamn episode. Hmm. B- miss me with the bullshit, please. Thank you very much. Anyway. Oh, that ain't so mad. I'm like, it just, it just, you, both of y'all is on y'all second strike, okay? Y'all can't get another one? talking about consequences but y'all y'all do the same shit it's just so dumb and again the only we have not seen ryan shoot shit you know what i'm saying if they knew he did it say he did it oh absolutely but y'all just said that because he y'all assume it was him i'm hoping nobody was dumb enough to be in there shooting that's just the, who shoots a gun into a wall bullets ricochet that's just stupid anyway um, <laughs> and again, the only person that ever say Ryan did it has been y'all on this show. And I do feel like if the building management people had footage of Ryan with a gun and a bullet hole in the wall, they would have once the police that got themselves because he did it because they had the footage of him in there doing it. And if it's video, when you hear the damn gun going off, boy, back the fuck out my face. Anyway, Ryan is in LA, um, having this little pop up shop, um, with merchandise or whatever. People came through. He said he posted how he was going to be in L.A. for a week. His whole schedule got filled up because he's a popular tattoo artist. You know, it is what it is. So, you know, he goes to like a little tattoo shop or a shop. What's the, that wasn't a tattoo shop. It was like a store uh, to sell some of his nine mag merchandise. And, you know, people came in, taking pictures. It was a, it seemed pretty positive. Um, a friend of his who came through, an uh, actor on Ballers. I can't remember which person he is on Ballers, though. And I watched that show. It comes on in August. Um, but, I'm, but he came through the chop it up. He is a Chicago native. He knows Ryan. He bring up the article about Ryan being under investigation for the little shooting. And it's not even a shooting. It's like, it's not even, a, it was a bullet hole in a wall. And someone on TV said, I think Ryan must have did this. It's the weirdest shit that's now in the paper. And it's in the paper because they talked about it on the show. That they, the, These hoes ain't loyal people talked about it and said Ryan did it. That's the only reason it's an issue. So Ryan, like, I'm not worried about that. I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? 
he said how he see Charmaine putting his name and stuff, how, you know what I'm saying, she must not care about him, his family, whatever, because why would you say my name, period, in the in the situation? And I do believe that if I don't rock with you, I don't rock with you. I don't like you. I don't like you. However, if someone come ask me some legal shit, like, you know what I'm saying, did he break, his, break the law, that ain't got shit to do with me. I don't know. I wasn't. I ain't see shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to incriminate a person because you don't. I just saw that. And that I haven't seen none all day. That is funny. Oh, my God. Because um, I am I got them a lot with the vinegar stuff. But anyway, um, well, I got well, obviously one left. But, yeah, you don't have to bring up someone's name in some kind of investigation just because you don't rock with them. Like, you don't have to do that. And the crazy part was I, I believe what he said to be true where you saying my name was crazy. Like, I, I have people I don't like. And if someone asks me some questions, I keep saying it fine. I don't know where it is. If someone asks me some questions, I'm going to say, I don't know. I wasn't there. I ain't see shit. I'm not going to say, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Detroit is really, really messy. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe that so-and-so would, you know what I'm saying, be so low as to go shoot a gun because they, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't do that. I would say, bro, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't even rock with them. So, we had that whole thing. And he also brings, he, say, he basically said, you know what I'm saying, fuck them. And again, I feel like Ryan is over it. Meaning, he not worry about them. He really out here trying to do other shit and not worry about what they doing. But he, I do feel like they pulling him back in because they ain't got their shit together yet. And it's, you know, kind of stupid. But So he say, you know what I'm saying, fuck them. I agree, you know what I'm saying. He brings up how social media makes things bigger than what they are. Meaning, if something little happened in my city and it's in my city paper, if it was not for social media and screenshots and recording of people, Everyone in the world would not know. And it's true. If you think about it, anything that happened in one little town in the paper without Instagram and Twitter, you wouldn't know stuff because now people just share shit and it's shared and it's shared and shared. And then people assume things to be true without knowing facts of what it really happened. So he's like, you know what I'm saying? Eventually I'll speak on it and I'll address it. And what he did was he just posted the videos of him at, at the shop packing up nicely like a whole little monk or whatever i mean people say you know he could have just recorded that part to, to show and he could have then trashed this thing later he could have but, but what he was smart enough to do was you don't record yourself damaging shit okay you don't record yourself or or let yourself be recorded fighting outside the restaurant you don't you don't re let yourself be recorded breaking into the studio with a goddamn crumble you don't let yourself let yourself be recorded doing dumb shit you are you should be smart enough to say let me record the good shit i'm not gonna record myself knocking over van stuff and his toys it can be a whole group i'm so mad yeah you know what i'm saying he didn't want, who, who you, you don't do that but you know what i'm saying again sometimes sometimes ryan is smarter than the average bear so that whole thing, you know, we do see London on a track and Ford in studio. I did not like the scene. Ford did sound very tired. He did sound very um like he needed a nap. He did sound it was just you know he didn't have no energy. Like the beat came on, I'm like, all right, the beat was hard. But to me, Ford didn't have the proper energy for my head. Ford did not have the proper energy for the record. Now Ford, like you know, I need to kind of build my energy up. Where he wanted me to just have it instantly. And then London said, you know what I'm saying? He said, hey, because he kept like stopping him. Like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Get, you know, say my name differently. You know, get some hype behind it. Get some energy in your voice. Like, get some energy. For sound asleep. You can't, he's sleep asleep. Like, like, like London said, you need a blanket? Sleep, you tired, you need a nap? So he asked him, like, you know what I'm saying? What's wrong? What am I doing wrong? He like, everything. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. He like, you know what I'm saying? He said that, he said that might have worked in Chicago. That ain't how we do things here. Like you have, and I'm, I agree. I agree, cause you, we, I, I follow for on, on Instagram, and when he in his bag, he in his bag, he, it's, a, it's a great flow, and he just seems so laid, cause he, he real laid back, he real laid back. Now I do feel like he's found his, his rhythm, his flow, compared to what, how he used to be when he first first came during season one with them green or crazy color dress, and he looked like a damn monster. If you ask me, but. A, a cute monster. He just looked, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, real rugged. He was a real rugged artist or whatever. But he has found his lane 
and he's sticking to it. But the beat that he had, he had to get a little bit more tempo and he didn't have it yet. So they were, you know, bumping heads, but not in a mean way. It was just looking like, look, I need you to let me produce this track. And because you ain't giving me what it is. He said, I know what it is supposed to be and you ain't giving it to me. Let You know, you have to do what I say. I said, well, okay now. This in Chicago. This <laughs> said, you need a blanket? I said, well, I guess he, he sounded like he did. I'm like, he, he needed the whole damn nap. I don't know if it was a, a, the, 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 um... Time change or what it could have been, but whatever. So we do see back in LA that these hoes ain't loyal. Ink. Um, Charmaine, honey, Charmaine was at work with all her titty meat out. I said, girl, that is not a work shirt. What Charmaine had on with all her titty meat out was a goddamn on sex shirt. It's a shirt, it's a top that you wear when you're doing it, okay? It's a top you wear when you ain't got no bottoms on because you didn't take your bottoms off and y'all doing it. Because all her, look, it only covered like to right to where the nipple was. Oh my God, the net just tried to flap out my face. <sighs> I have not had a net. This is the third one I've done today. Review. I have not seen the net all day to just not drive me crazy, but it's much better than it was. Anyway, but yeah, she was in a this uh, this a bra. I'm like, girl, that's not a work. She was at work, and I'm like, all your titty meters out, like your nipple about to come out, girl. What? Who? I'm like, <sighs> again, I'm I posted this on Instagram too. I'm not calling her a whore, but Charmaine sometimes dress real whore ish. Okay, to be at work, and I feel like if I went to a tattoo shop, and I walked in, and the girl sitting there with her damn titty me out, I, I would leave, cause to me that's not professional. I feel like places of employment, places of business, should be professional. Okay, you wasn't that Groupon dressed like that. You wouldn't be at the damn radio station dressed like that with all your titty me out. I'm like, all her goddamn on titty me, which is flapping about. Yeah, this I would do anything to get some customers in here. Girl, these fuck by. Anyway, Reese has a client coming in and she says how she know I need a booth to work in, you know what I'm saying? I know we haven't like figured stuff out yet, but you know what I'm saying, can I get a booth? And I didn't realize that they hadn't assigned booths. So Danielle says, Well, you know, four is here anymore. Like should we just box up his stuff and give her four thing? Charmaine and Lily was Van sitting there too? I think Van. They said, "Okay, yeah, you can just take take you know four things. Four is gone." They go in there, they clean it out. She has has four booths. Then Cobra walk in. So when Cobra walks in, Reese is saying, "All right, guys, I'm gonna go tap, don't go get my booth ready, yay!" And she's excited because she, again she has a client coming in, and that's her booth. Cobra asks, "What? Her what?" What's going on? Like, whose booth? Who has the booth? And they're like, oh, we gave her Forrest's booth. And she was like, the fuck? I wasn't here. You know what I'm saying? I have seniority or whatever. How can she get a booth for the before I get the booth? You know what I'm saying? And she's mad. Like, she's big mad. She's she's so mad that it makes no sense, honestly. You know, talking about I've been working for three years. Have you, Cobra? Have you really? Um, And since I, you know, how did this bitch get a booth for me? Reese came out like, did you just say, bitch? And she said it with such intensity. How does this bitch get a booth and I don't? And she's like, did you call me a bitch? Wait, and Reese was in her in her booth, mad at her own goddamn business. And again, the way Cobra went about it was completely unnecessary. It was completely wrong. It was a bitch-ass movie. It was a bitch-ass movie, you asked me. And it's petty as fuck. And then... Well, you know, y'all moved on without me, I'm saying, that's just rude, y'all keep doing shit without me, I'm saying, and this bitch, she working in my booth, girl, that's not your booth, you barely, you just came back, bitch, I, look, I don't feel like she really been working every three years, I know that she been on the show since season two, I think it was, she came on season two, I don't believe it's been three years, I think she made that shit up, I really, really do, um, I don't, cause she be, Tattooing everywhere. You don't need no permanent booth if you don't live in Chicago. You ain't always there. But Reese does. Okay, Reese was there when your ass was gone. So whatever. But again, she was mad at Reese. She should have been mad at the fucking owners because that's who told her to take the Reese. Asked the owners, "Hey, I need a booth. Where should I go?" They said, "You go here." Why your beef with Reese? But again, I feel like Cobra said, I need some scenes. I need some stuff to make myself relevant this season. Because if not, I ain't going to get no damn checks. And I ain't doing no tattoos here in Chicago. So I need some damn Chicago checks from VH1. 
my opinion. Um, but Reese, like, you know, who are you calling a bitch? Okay, she ain't having it. You don't even know me. I'm saying, what's the fucking problem? What's going on? And again, Reese was really an innocent. She ain't do shit wrong. She ain't do shit wrong. She had every right to call and ask her, why are you calling me a bitch? Like, what's going? Like, what's? You don't know me. What's the problem? And she, it's the stupidest shit. Cobra says, I'm always being shitted on. And then she said, you a pussy ass bitch. I'm like, but how would Teresa pussy ass bitch? She didn't bogart that damn thing. They gave it to her. Again, what is your issue, Cobra? Cobra then tries to physically take that girl out of the shop. She walked up to her, you pussy ass bitch, motherfucker. And she used her, her girth. You know, Reese's little thing. Cobra's a big thing. You know what I'm saying? Little thing, big thing. And she's, yeah, she, she, oh, she like breast bumping her. Reese ain't but this small, okay? And she's like, wait, stop. What you, don't touch me. Reese didn't do shit. She didn't do shit. And Cobra got her big bald ass up and went over there and basically accosted that woman for no goddamn reason. That's the time for a white woman to call the police on somebody, okay? When somebody walk up to you and they start fucking uh, titty bumping you out the damn way and then trying to physically throw her out of the shop i said bitch that ain't your shot cobra it isn't like you said they made that shot without your ass so what makes you think that you have any seniority to toss someone else out you may have been with, with nine mag for three years bitch, this is these hoes ain't loyal ink okay it's a completely different thing you can't be up here throwing your damn balls around and getting mad at reese and reese is like what the fuck i can't believe this you got van ass he could put on his goddamn batter woman voice. Y'all gonna stop this shit now. I'm like, he is such a batter woman. Oh, gorgeous. He just needs some help. Jimmy beating his ass. Stop this bullshit. I'm like, well, it is some bullshit. So he mad at them two for going back and forth. But I feel like he should have been yelling at Cobra's ass. Because Cobra the one who was, who was wrong. And she took it too fucking far. Charmaine just sitting in the middle with her goddamn titty meat out. She ain't got shit to say. And then um, he like, look at some bullshit. We already done lost four. We can't lose nobody else. Because Reese like, I'm not going to be putting up with no goddamn people trying to fight me. I'm not going to have that bullshit. And I would not either if you ask me. He then says, Reese, you going to take Forrest Booth. Cobra, you going to take my old booth. I'm going to tattoo a front, basically in Ryan's old booth in the big area. He's saying me and Lily will just switch out for that. Because him and Lily are the only other two tattoo artists. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize that they only had two booths back there. Because if you think about it before, it was Ryan, Cat, Van, and Four tattooing. They brought in Cobra, brought in Lily. So I'm like, they got motherfucking tattoo cards and they have space. Do something about that. What's the first thing you should do? And Ryan's old space looks like it could fit two chairs if you put a wall in between. But they ain't got no money. Because I'm saying, these hoes ain't loyal. Ain't making no like goddamn money. So, but I'm like, I did not like how Van was kind of making it seem as if Reese and Cobra was beefing. That was Cobra shit. Cobra did all that. Cobra was the one who was wrong as fuck. And then when they told what she said, and that's final. Okay? The fucking rooms are the same size. And they, if they're the same size and you have a booth, it should not matter. Honey, Reese said, I don't care. She can suck my dick. I said, well, goddamn it, Reese. Okay. Let, let them know how you feel, girl. Let them know how you feel. Anyway, um, Nikki popped up in L.A. to see four, basically because she like he had a rough few days in L.A. and she admits that the reason she was kind of hesitant from the go the first time was because she felt as if he would go to L.A. get popping and forget about her and leave her in the dust. She said, "So I want to get over that. So I just kind of pop up and show him what he's gonna be missing, and you know what I'm saying, give him some attention." So she and his in the house he renting and whatever and her lingerie lingerie. Uh till they're not waiting for him to get there. But he at the club. He at the club with Ryan and Lennon on the track. And you know, they kinda let out some steam because they've been working, working, working in the studio. And you know what I'm saying? They even talk him in London how he says, I appreciate that you, you know what I'm saying, putting that pressure on me to do better, or whatever. I need that. I need that to get, you know, to be better or whatever. And London's like, you know, I'm doing that to make you stronger. And to, you know what I'm saying, to motivate you. And for appreciates. It was a great thing. You know, we do see how Four and Ryan were talking and said how it kind of felt good for them to be like just hanging out in L.A. And for, <laughs> Ryan said it's because it felt like the old nine mad. You know what I'm saying? Us just hanging out. Four does say he wished that they can all get back to a better place. And how, you know what I'm saying, he don't really support the whole 
separation thing, how he tried to stay neutral, especially with the whole thing with the whole gun stuff, the article stuff, and, you know, an investigation into Ryan. Saying, like, he don't think that they intentionally, intentionally said something to get him locked up. When you say stuff on camera, you know, that's kind of what you're doing. Anyway, um, Ryan then gets a phone call from his lawyer. He was, I, I thought he said junior. But later on, I think he said a lawyer. Well, someone called him from, from Chicago saying how the police came by looking for him because it's supposed to, you know, situation. So, of course, now he's pissed off. And I will be, too, because especially if you just, if it's some speculation bullshit, um, it's like whatever. So, four did not get home until 5 a.m. So, Nikki had been waiting all these fucking hours for him to get there. And he come home with Ryan and the third guy. So, when they walk in and then when she hears their voices, because she's upset to her and her line, like, she's, you know... She, she, she's not naked but she's dressed in a way they should not see her and so when they walk in and she hear extra voice she's like oh my god four and they like he like drop his lap like what the fuck because again he didn't know she was there and they like he like who the fuck it's Nikki it's Nikki it's Nikki and he like you what are you doing here and he like and Ryan like is she naked and I was like, it was his he was like is she naked because it was you know surprising and she said yeah but she was she just wasn't dressed right which, which basically means that when he said they're like, all right. It's like, all right, bye, Ryan. Bye, God, I don't know. And they leave. But now it's like, he said, like, why, why didn't you tell me you was coming? I could have had you come to the club with me last night. The club? You weren't in the studio? He like, no, nah, I was at the club chilling. And then she was fake as if she was mad, saying, you know what I'm saying, he should have been in the studio, not in the club. And it wasn't like a thing where she like, I'm not saying fake it as in she was mad in a fake scene i'm saying like to mess with him she's like i'm going you ain't getting none i'm leaving ha 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 whatever he said shit i'm drunk and i'm horny whatever opens goddamn door and i'm pretty sure they did it they was doing it um next we see ryan got a call from Nicki minaj to do her tattoo i said okay you know what that's the big deal okay Nicki minaj would no matter how much I, I don't care for her music currently, she is a huge artist, okay? And so for her to reach out to him was a great thing. Not only that, for her to reach out to him and then let VH1 come film it. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't, we don't want to be on reality shows. Um, so for me, I thought like that was a big look for her, I mean for him, for Ryan, and for Ford too. Because Ford was, she acknowledged Ford too. Like, yeah, we should work together. Like, we should, you know what I'm saying, do some bad. Like, we should, you know, listen to some music or whatever. It was just a great, great thing. And she wanted him to do a tattoo because she said, I was, I follow you on social media and I saw that you were here. So I figured, you know what I'm saying, why can't we link up? She then says, where's Kat? I said, well, you can't follow him on social media if you, if you ask where Kat is at. Um, because oh my girl. <laughs> That's like what happened. He like, nah, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no more, whatever. I left the shop. So I'm like, clearly she don't follow. She, unless she just started like recently following him, like within the last, you know, since before the last season. Um, back can be the only way that she does not know kind of what's going on. Um, well, she just doesn't, you know, follow it or whatever. Anyway, he like, well, that's cool. She did, she did give him some good advice, telling him, like, you know what I'm saying? It's okay to move forward. It's okay to, you know, move on or whatever. Be prosperous, you know, stay true to yourself. And anyone else who doesn't fall in line with you will just fall back. And I said, well, that's some good advice. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you do have to just level up, level up, and then not worry about who can't level up with you. And so he said, you know, her words and wisdom just kind of gave him the oomph that he needed to know that he is really doing the right thing um, about doing his own shop stuff or whatnot. So it's kind of cute. So she wants them to meet her at the studio later because she was like on a video shoot. So he, she wants them to come back later to do her tattoo. She wants the word Barbie tattooed on her wrist in pink and that's honestly what she got and it's like in the barbie font you know it's you know like the barbie barbie um back in chicago you know van i was i'm like why is van body, body slamming people van body slam charmaine into the pool and i'm like the pool is on cement cement it's on cement i'm like you body slam the full female into a pool that's on cement I'm like, somebody gonna break a goddamn kneecap. What's going on here? He then says how, you know, I hate the, you know, the girls are like my sisters. So I hate when they dress all antsy clad and be all naked or whatever. It's just weird. But the next thing he say is take y'all clothes off. I said, what the fuck? Make up your mind. It's either weird or it's not. It can't be both. Anyway, that's how sad. Now on inside, Cobra is in her feelings still. So Reese is outside with Van helping Van cook on a on a barbecue grill. They have like a little barbecue swimsuit pool party or whatever outside. You know what I'm saying? These hoes ain't loyal. 
ink. I couldn't even get it out. These hoes ain't lower your ink. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, um, she's still salty. She's still upset. She's still mad about Reese getting fourth booth. And I'm not understanding why because you have your own booth now. You're tattooing out of Van's old booth. Either way it go, you're tattooing out of a fucking booth. And she's like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, plus, the girl had a client. You didn't. Come on now. So, she then says, you know what I'm saying? Um, no, I feel like you should be mad at everybody except Reese. You mad? Because she keeps kind of ragging. Did y'all already know her? Did anyone look into her? Did anyone look at her portfolio? And they like, so we like, look, I looked into her. I saw her work. Her work was really good. And she's like, you know, what you're doing kind of isn't fair to her because she's trying to, like, make them feel like they shouldn't have her there or, like, she might not be a good person or might not be a good tattoo artist. I'm like, Girl, we thought the same, and it's weird because this, they did the same shit to you when you came, and you didn't feel good. So why are you doing the same shit to her? Doesn't make any goddamn sense. And again, she asked the owners for the booth, and they gave it to her. What are you mad for? And they were trying like it wasn't like that. It wasn't as if we just ignored you, or whatever. We just she asked the question. It doesn't really matter. And at this point, you know, they like they need looking the copy background because she. I mean. When her and Reese, I forgot to mention this part. When her and Reese was fighting earlier, she then went into the booth and was like tossing shit around everywhere, knocking shit over. I'm like, what? Destroying shit. I'm like, that's a per. She should be fired. Okay, that's some bullshit. If I ever saw some. Anyway, so when her like, you know, have y'all looked at her? They need to look into your ass, okay? Because this season, you really showing your ass this season, Cobra, and I don't know why. But you know what I'm saying? I'm my like, girl, whatever. But she's sensitive as hell. And it doesn't make any sense that she's acting like that. And I need to go outside to go calm down. Bye, girl. Bye. Anyway, the ending is we see Ryan tattoo Nicki Minaj. And, you know, I thought that was huge for him. And the episode goes off. So, again, I'm waiting for them to go to fucking Jamaica, bitch. That's what I want to see. Jamaica. We see how Ashley and Don fight, but it does not matter if they're still married. Um, this is going to be a whole bunch of shit going down. I can't. I cannot wait to see it, bitch. Anyway, I'm all done. If you've been watching this long, of course, I, know I, have, I have been forgetting the um, notes, no comments. So, if you've been watching this long, the comments to put in hefty ziplock ceram wrap or condoms i don't know put one of the four in and then put a random fruit emoji peace